students. Today we're going to read Simon and Molly plus Hester. This book was written by Lisa John Clough. Hmm. Well, there were three names, Simon, Molly, and Hester, and there's three children. So maybe those are the main characters, and maybe those are their names. We're going to read and find out more about our main characters so that we know who they are. We also, of course, want to know how they're feeling. We want to know about the setting. So let's figure out who they are, where they are, and then we're going to think about the beginning, middle, and end, the events that happen in the book. Simon and Molly plus Hester by Lisa Jean Cloth. Simon and Molly play together every day, just the two of them. There's Simon and Molly, Simon and Molly, Simon and Molly, and Simon and Molly. Molly lets Simon ride her two-wheeler. Simon makes Molly toast with butter. They are the best of friends, just the two of them, until Hester moved in. There's Simon and Molly. Who's this? Hester. Let's ride the bike, said Simon. I don't want to, Hester said. Let's make paper airplanes instead. Yay, said Molly. I love paper airplanes. Not me, said Simon. The next morning, Simon went to Molly's house. Hester was there. Let's have a snack, Molly said. Simon made toast with butter. Do you have any cinnamon sugar? Hester asked. That's a great idea, said Molly. Simon ate his toast plain. How is Simon feeling? How do you know? Why do you think he feels that way? Hmm. Oh, we're back outside, so our setting is outside again. Let's ride the bike, said Simon. He jumped on the bike so fast that he fell over. Why do you think he jumped on the bike so fast? What happened last time he said he wanted to ride a bike? Hester wanted to make paper airplanes, and Molly did too. Are you okay? Hester asked. Leave me alone, said Simon. How is Simon feeling? Why do you think he feels that way? That Hester thinks she's so great, Simon thought. Molly likes her better than me. Do you want to paint with us? Molly asked. No, said Simon. I have to go home. Do you think Simon likes to paint? I think he does like to paint. I have proof that he likes to paint. How do you know that Simon likes to paint? That painting says, by Simon. So he did that one. Simon spent all afternoon trying to make paper airplanes, but none of them worked. I wish Hester would just fly away, he said.
Is something bothering Simon? Simon hid in the tree to watch Molly and Hester. Do you want to ride the two-wheeler? He heard Molly ask. I, I don't know how, said Hester. Really? Molly asked. No one ever taught me, Hester said. Do you think that's why she didn't want to ride the bike at first and she suggested that they make paper airplanes instead? How does it feel when you don't know how to do something and everybody else does? I'm proud of Hester for saying that she didn't know how. It might have been a little scary for her to admit that. Simon can teach you, Molly said. Do you think so? Hester asked. Simon is the best writer in the whole world, Molly said, and he is my very best friend. Now remember, Simon is hiding in this tree, watching. How do you think he felt when he heard Molly say that? Simon is the best writer in the whole world, and he is my very best friend. Yes, I think he I think he probably feels pretty good hearing those words. It's nice to hear good things about yourself. Look at his face. I'm her very best friend, Simon thought. What's this? Hester asked. Simon jumped out of the tree. It's a paper airplane that doesn't fly, he said. Simon, Molly smiled. You're here. How about some toast? Simon asked. I'd love some, Molly said. Simon looked at Hester. We can add cinnamon sugar, Simon said. Great, said Hester. After that, can you teach me how to ride the two-wheeler? Okay, said Simon. If you show me how to make a paper airplane that flies. Sure, said Hester. Now, Simon and Molly, plus Hester, play together every day. They ride the two-wheeler, they eat toast with cinnamon sugar, and they fly paper airplanes, just the three of them. I'm so glad we're friends, Molly said. Me too, said Simon. Me three, said Hester. What was the problem in this book? Sometimes it's hard for three kids to be friends together if a new one comes. Simon was worried that Molly wouldn't be his friend anymore because she was playing so much with Hester. Simon was afraid to admit that he didn't know how to make paper airplanes. How did the story end? How did they fix their problem? It had to do with Hester and the bike, didn't it? What did she say? She said she didn't know how to ride the bike. And what did Molly say? Simon can teach you. He's the best rider and he's my best friend. And then they were all friends. Hmm. How would you feel if you and your best friend had a new kid move in and your best friend played with them more than they played with you? How could you fix that? Thank you for reading with me today.